Hi, Mac, and anyone who might be watching episode 73 of Grandma Day Read Stories for Mac. It is U.S. Election Day, and here's my voting rock shirt. And I hope when you turn 18, you will also vote in all the elections. Um, so today, um, some people were being, I figured they'd probably be tense, so I was going to read a funny story. So I picked this one, which I read to all the kids, and I remember... When I was teaching summer school in Fairbanks, um, we used this as a play. So the kids read it and turned it into a play and performed it. And it was hilarious. This one's called Could Be Worse, written and illustrated by James Stevenson. This book was published in 1977, which was one year uh, after I moved to Alaska. Here we go. Could be worse. I'm going to try to read it this way. Let's see if I can do it. At Grandpa's house, things were always the same. Grandpa always had the same thing for breakfast. Every day he read the paper. Newspaper. We used to get it delivered too, before everything went digital. And he always said the same thing. Could be worse. No matter what. Grandpa, that awful dog ate the sofa cushion. Could be worse. That sounds familiar. Oh, yeah, I have a puppy that ate a cushion. I got a splinter in my finger, Grandpa. Could be worse. My bike has a flat and my sneakers have a hole and I lost my kite in a tree, Grandpa. Could be worse. <laughs> He's a pragmatist. <clears throat> One day, Marianne said, how come Grandpa never says anything interesting? I guess because nothing interesting happens to him, said Louie. Guess what? The next morning at breakfast, Grandpa said something different. He said, guess what? What? Last night, when I was asleep, a large bird pulled me out of bed and took me for a long ride and dropped me into the mountains. I heard a noise. It was an abominable snowman with a huge snowball, which he threw at me. Goodness. I got stuck inside the snowball, which rolled down the mountain. It finally landed on, a, on the desert and began to melt. I walked across the desert. Suddenly, I heard footsteps coming nearer and nearer. What? That sounds like a dream. A moment later, I got squished by a giant something or other. Before I could get up, I heard a strange noise. A great blob of marmalade was coming towards me. It chased me across the desert until... I crashed into something tall. It was sort of like an ostrich and very cross. It gave me a big kick and I went into some storm clouds and I almost got hit by lightning. I fell out of the clouds. and landed in an ocean. I sank down about a mile to the bottom. I saw an enormous goldfish coming at me. I swam away as fast as I could and I hid under a cup that had air in it. When it was safe, I crawled out. I started to walk, but my foot got stuck in the grip of a gigantic lobster. What? I didn't know what to do, but just then a big squid came along and squirted, ah, and squirted black ink all over the lobster. I escaped and hitched a ride on a sea turtle that was going to the top for a bit of sunshine. I was fortunate to find a piece of toast floating by and rode to shore where I discovered a newspaper. I quickly folded it into an airplane and flew across the sea and back home to bed. Oh, Grandpa. Now, what do you think of that? Kids are like, could be worse. <laughs> the end. Happy election day.